Hi everyone, it's Sarah here, your ELA. Welcome to week two. We've um, had a fabulous response to the activities for week one and I just thought I'd duck in really quickly and run through a few quick things with you. Um, firstly, I'd like to have a look at the survey that we've all done. So the poll that we've gone through as part of our activity here um, as well too. I thought I'd um, just run through this quite quickly. So there's, there's a mix of ideas on the discussion board and some really good good thoughts as well which is exciting to see. So as we just have a quick look at these together, so these are the overall results which you can click on yourselves at any time to have a look at. So um, this is quite interesting, question one, HRM today is too concerned with profits. So that's quite nice to see that 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 overview there because um, you know overwhelmingly you really feel that you disagree with that so hopefully from my point of view I, I feel that we are um, as professionals a little bit more concerned around the people space and looking after the welfare of people which is particularly strong as you'll see in the next question however we do have a strategic role we do have a hand in ensuring businesses do well and and, and you know there are different ways that we can do that and let's talk about that more over the next 12 weeks together or 11 now that we've got question two the prime purpose of HRM is look after employee welfare we've had some really good discussions on the board around that too already and look I totally agree what I'd love you to talk about a bit more too and see if you can reply to this post here is could you give me some examples you know without naming businesses and people and being too specific but I'd love to hear us talk about or see us talk about what are some good examples of employee welfare that have come from the HR space and what aren't so good um, and, and what's what's quite interesting around that it dovetails into this next question here um, HR work is better done by line managers. So when we talk about HR, you know, it's a really interesting point because a lot of people think it's just HR, the HR officer, business partner, whatever that may be, manager. But line managers have a really, really big part of their role that is HR. And often I feel they are probably not well enough equipped. I think people progress into these roles sometimes without the training. They're fabulous technical experts often too, but they've never been taught how to handle difficult conversations, performance reviews, um, you know, work plans and, and giving, you know, good and, 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 and constructive feedback as well. So HR work is a big part of a line manager's role and I don't think it's often um, well enough explained to line managers, let alone they're set up with the tools to, to succeed in that too. So this is an interesting statistic here. I think like I work often with HR managers daily. I'm trying to help them work through certain situations. And, and it's interesting that, you know, we disagree so heavily here around the, you know, um, around the 80, what is it, 79%. So quite interesting across that base, but lots to chat about there too. So also share some ideas if you can about, you know, what's been great for you as a line manager in the HR space where you feel you might have needed more help from HR and, you know, and, and, and just share some of your thoughts there too. It's nice to see that HR is becoming increasingly important because I think HR particularly has been quite administrative in the past and payroll, where there's a lot of other ways that we can add value along, along the way as well too. And this is overwhelmingly 100%, which is just fabulous to see that HR managers are trusted by employees, that it's critical. Yeah, there needs to be that trust element there too. So this is really quite um, good to see this stat in this way. And the final question, HR managers who emphasise the bottom line impact are unprofessional. Um, so, you know, this is this, this has some interesting context. We haven't touched on it a lot. So, so what I'd like to hear you talk about is, is what do you mean by that there? So, um, you know, what's the unprofessional part about about what we can do there too. So, you know, some, some definitely some really good thoughts for you there too. Um, I'd just like to chat quickly about, I'm going back into our discussion board, I'd like to chat about a first collaborate session for your first assessment. So as you know, um, on our discussion board here, if you scroll down, you'll find a forum here, a, round assessment one and there's one further down for assessment two and to a two b and then we'll have one for the exam further down as well so assessment one we have our first collaborate session on 
uh, Thursday the 27th of July at 8 p.m. You may have seen we had an earlier date, but we had to change that with a conflict that we had. So we're going with Thursday the 27th of July. I'd love to see you all there. I'll post the slides here in this forum after the session, but would love to see you all on deck. You don't need to talk on the microphone. I'd love to see you there in the chat box. It's a perfect way to ask some, some, some great questions there too. So I'll send out some further details and Malini RUC will, will finalise all of that too. And I'll, I'll show you how to jump into the Collaborate sessions as well. So um, when we look, and if we go back up to our assessments page over here as well, just want to chat to you quickly about assessment two, which is due in, um, if I can just, sorry, move, move my little screen here. Um, assessment due is due in um, weeks, anywhere from weeks eight to 11. So what's going to happen there is at the, towards the end of next week, week three, I'll start to allocate you into your teams. And each week, two teams will present on a specific topic that um, you will put together collectively a prezi, a present, it's called a prezi, a presentation. And when we look at assessment two, the presentation um, assessment here, it talks you through um, exactly what we're looking for. So as part of a team, you'll research and summarise a specific topic based upon the readings. Um, it's worth 15%, the team part, the discussion is five, and we'll have teams of three, probably four people um, at the most, and, and each week, so for example, in week eight, A and B will go together week nine, C and D and so forth. So I'll start, I'll start, I'm observing who's on the discussion board, who's active, um, who we haven't seen yet, and I'll try and group you accordingly. I have had a few requests where people have got um, weddings and plans and work commitments. So by all means, shoot me an email about a certain week if that's particular. Once we lock them in though, it's a little bit hard to sort of change those two. So get in early if you can. Um, there's some great resources here um, around what you, what you need to do and in particular have a look at working with um, you know uh, PowerPoint the the pres to do your presentation how to design it and some some great team teamwork tips as well so we will have a um, a collaborate session around the team the teamwork work about two weeks before it's due anyway. So when I said we'll put you into teams by week three, so in week four, you will do that activity in your team. So it's a good idea to be on board and know exactly where where, where you're sort of setting, setting yourself up there too. Um, a really good tip going back to our discussion board for your first assessment, the essay, is to make sure you jump on for this week's um, activities in, in week two. And we've got two exercises here. What this will do for you, they're practicing working with some literature and, and asking you to sort of gauge it and have a really good look at it. So I think in particular, um, it'll give you a great way, a great great experience to synthesize what your what your research looks like so please by all means have a good look at this and I can help you out with with some of um, some of the you know the bits and pieces you come up with here too as, as to what works really well I can even give you a bit of referencing tips along the way so look I look forward to um, seeing you on the discussion board we've got about 19 of you who are actively chatting and posting I know everyone's got lots of commitments um, but we'd love to see a few more of you get on board and get to know each other as well too I will generally post the activities for each week on the Friday night or the Saturday of the week before so some of those that you need to get started. So um, all well and good and look forward to seeing you more. Thanks a lot guys. Bye.